The state is now taking action against a business WRTV investigates first exposed back in February. We told you complaints were mounting against Quest Concrete. Customers who say the business took their money and didn't do the work promised. And our Kara Kenny joins us now with what consumers are hoping comes out of this. Consumers just received these letters from the Attorney General Todd Rakita's office notifying them about the lawsuit. I've been texting with those customers today and they hope this means they'll finally get their money back. Quest Concrete and Quest Exteriors both used to operate out of this Indianapolis office complex. The Attorney General's office filed suit on August 8th against both businesses. The lawsuit lists dozens of customers who say they paid for concrete work that never got done. Totaling it up, the state is seeking just over $156,000 in restitution for consumers. We've talked to many of those customers listed, including Brandon Seitz and Carmel. He paid Quest Concrete thousands to get his sidewalk fixed. And we kept being told, you're on the list, you know, it, it will happen, we will get to you, and, and then it, it didn't. <laughs> we felt like, you know, the only thing we could do is report this to Attorney General's Office, Better Business Bureau, and call you all. Our previous investigations showed we tried to speak with the company's leadership with no luck. The state's lawsuit alleges Quest Concrete and Quest Exteriors repeatedly entered into contracts with consumers, failed to complete them, and did not provide refunds. The AG's office says they violated the Indiana Deceptive Consumer Sales Act and the Senior Consumer Protection Act. Customers aren't holding their breath. Many received letters from a law firm saying Quest Concrete closed back in December and is essentially out of money. Kara Kenny, WRTV. And we reached out to representatives for Quest Concrete and Quest Exteriors and we are still waiting to hear back.